I was literally talking to a whole group before this. What can I say? Blood mine, para, it happened. It happened. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god damn it. Anyway, you know what? We have a new setting. The wires aren't quite plugged in in Sovereign Guard yet, but they're getting there. They're getting there. God damn it. <laughs> uh, I tell you, you set up hotkeys. They should work as described, but yeah, I'm cursed, I'm cursed. Now, if you've never been to a town hall before, it's essentially a chance for you to hang out with me, for us to have a little bit of a discussion. What can we say? <sighs> Hotkeys, bane of my existence. You try to do something different, you try to do something cool. It bites you in the ass. But hey, what can I say? What can I say? I don't actually have a cat, for real. I don't have a cat, but I have a cat as an excuse for why there is always something that's wrong with the stream. What can I say? But hey, we're here, and that's the main thing. We're all here, we've made it here in one piece. Things are kinda semi-working. So we're gonna have an hour of us just hanging out, having a good time, having a chat, having a discussion, and that's how we are. That's how we are. Have I seen the New Zealand episode of Geography Now? No, I haven't. I haven't, but I'm sure it was nice. New Zealand, you know, we got some, we got some good stuff. We got some good stuff here. Uh, Eolin, you got here from the link on Discord, but the vid is not showing up on YouTube for some reason. That's a bizarre one. Sometimes when it comes to live streams, they don't always pop up right away. Um, generally, that's why I like to have things kind of ticking over for about five minutes before we start this thing. However, today, it didn't want to do that. So, you know, fun times. Fun times. But this is this is how we do. We get these things to work. That's how we <laughs> pull ourselves through. Gina, thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, I believe that uh, Janet is here, that she is awake today. We got some drums, some drums in the deep. Um, please let me know if the background is too noisy. And the background I'm talking about is my mates here in Solengard. Sometimes they can get a little rowdy, so if they get too rowdy, let me know. But it's a new place, and I like it here. It's good. It's good. And yes, Birthright, I fixed the vid banner. It, this isn't this isn't 23 this is 33 at least I think this is the 33rd town hall which if that's the case that's a lot of town halls that we've had now a lot of months and the funny thing I find with the town hall is that it seems to make the month go so much faster for me because all of a sudden it just seems that BAM town halls back again yeah uh, I'm, I'm super excited about masquerade super super excited I think it's gonna be a good game um, it seems like they have brought on a lot of, uh, well, I mean, a lot of the original staff that were working on Masquerade before, so I can only hope for good things. Yeah. Rest in peace, Gallic the Guard. I mean, Gallic is, Gallic is still here. You know, he he has followed me to Sovereign Guard, so he's around here somewhere, but yeah. Um, Kiefer, I actually did do a roleplay of the first Masquerade just for a little bit, but uh, yeah, yeah. Have I ever played the Tropico series? No, I haven't. I haven't yet. But yes, I, I'm seriously hoping that um, this second game is going to be good. Uh, any chances to find out when the next Ashes episode is? Forgoing technical difficulties, <laughs> which they happen, um, it should be out next week. Next week. And we've got some uh, fun things going down in that, uh, in that episode. 
it's one of these things where I allow the game world to influence the story as much as I can, and some strange things started happening. And I enjoy that sometimes. Sometimes it makes sense, other times it doesn't, because obviously Fallout, Skyrim, they got some bugs in them. Sometimes you can work with those bugs to make it seem unusual. I mean, in Skyrim, it could be something magical that's happening, that's, you know, causing the effect of strange deer to pop in and out of existence. I mean, why is it happening? Where are the deer going? <laughs> it's a mystery for us to solve. Uh, and flying horses and mammoth and... Yeah, it's a bit to work around. In Fallout 4, I tell you what, it's Dogmeat, though. Dogmeat likes to teleport like nobody's business. So that's something that's a little difficult to work with, but I'm trying to work around it. So we'll see. We'll see. I uh, hope that I'm loud enough today as well. So let me let me know. Let me know. Give me some feedback on this one. I've changed things around ever so slightly on this end here, so there should be it should be coming through louder. So that's the hope at the very least. Midnight King of Parkour, well, thank you for coming and saying hello, regardless. Um, Bastion, am I going to do a let's roleplay of Project Zomboid again? Um, yes, uh, I don't know if I'm going to go into full roleplay of it, but potentially, potentially, the potential is definitely there. Um, I actually started watching Mathis's playthrough that he's just done recently. Mathis was how I found Zomboid in the first place. Um, and he's doing some really cool cinematic storytelling with that as well. So I'm, I'm really happy to see that. I'm happy to see more of that kind of narrative roleplay style of gaming on YouTube. Um, so really, really good series. If you want to check out what Mathis is doing, head on over to Mathis Games. He's doing a great playthrough of Zomboid at the moment. But Zomboid's a really good, really good fun game. Um, Johnny, other than the book, what else do we need to play Zealand? Just your imagination. Uh and a group of people you need at least one other person one person who runs it and the other person who is the player um i mean you could play against yourself i guess it's possible it's entirely possible actually it's completely possible it's entirely possible i just haven't thought of doing that before but uh yeah uh outlast 2 i actually have a role play a full role play of outlast 2 uh dj if you check out the playlists on the channel i've got all of it there we've got outlast we've got whistleblower and we have outlast 2 and um yeah, they're, they're some of my favorite role players I've ever done. I'm super, super happy with how they came out, so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, do I think I will ever play Dwarf Fortress in the future? Yes, 100%, especially with it coming to Steam. I think that's going to be a really good time to uh, relearn how to play, because there's going to be a lot of UI changes that happen there, so, yeah. Um, Dwarf Fortress is a game that I love, and I really enjoy Adventure Mode, because, I mean, I'm all about you know, doing those kind of character explorations and some of my favorite memories I've had so far from gaming have been in adventure mode in Dwarf Fortress. So I would, uh, yeah, I'd love that. I would love to do it. I, to be able to actually play Fortress mode properly though, I've still got a lot of learning to do. So Krug Smash, some more tutorials. We'll get there. <laughs> um, yes, Mathis also does a uh, Kenshi roleplay as well. So there you go. Yeah. Um, Alex, is the Mojave Express no more? Uh, the Mojave Express is going to um, be reborn in another form. In, in, a, in a sense, what I'm going to be doing with the fan art that we have on the channel, I'm actually going to have it displayed in the episodes of that specific show. Uh, so if there's anything that's kind of outside of the realms of the series that we're running at the moment, we will we'll, we'll do it that way. Uh, we'll, we'll have it on here. But if it's something specific to a a show so be it cataclysm or skyrim i'm going to have them display at the end of each episode so that the you know i feel like it ties back into the original series that way and more people will be able to see the artwork that way because not everyone always gets to see the express so the express will become a part of the town hall in a sense so yeah yeah same thing if we had some zealand art i'd display it in zealand etc etc so i think i think that's a good way for that artwork to be seen by the audience that's watching that series so yeah sure that is how we say cheers in new zealand that is our uh... <laughs> i hate, i still have the hat i still have the hat I, I mean it doesn't sit as well on headphones but it's there 
It's always at the ready. Always at the ready. You never know when you need a hat. Yeah. It's not mead. It's not mead. It's actually... <laughs> I don't even want to say what's in there. But it's not mead. <laughs> I wish it was mead. Mead would be great. Could do that right now. Um... Funny that you ask that. Uh... Got tug manners? Got tug manners? Uh, will there be a game stream where you play games like Diablo and Warbands soon? It was fun like last time. Funny that you should ask that. Starting from this week tomorrow. So, Sunday nights for some of you, Monday afternoons for others. I'm going to be doing a stream each week where it is going to essentially be, let's relax. I'm going to be bringing back that kind of format where we just play a game, enjoy ourselves, we chill out, we have a good time. So it is going to be a live stream, it's going to be happening each week. I don't have the time set yet. I will be posting something about that later on today, so you'll be able to see the times. Uh, but it's going to be a chance for us to just sit down, play a game, hang out, and it's going to... it's going to vary. It's not always going to be the same game. It's going to be a continuation each time I will go back into different series. So we will be playing things like uh, Diablo, Warband, but the thing that we're going to be starting out with, and again, Mikhail, Thank you. You guys are on a roll. You're on an absolute roll here. Uh, the first one that we're going to be looking at is Outward. Um, so Outward is going to be the first game that we're going to be playing as a Let's Relax series on there. And that's not saying that I won't dive out and go into something else, but um, yeah, it's going to be a hell of a lot of fun. I think it's just a different format in which we can hang out and play games. It'll be a good time. Are the streams going to be uploaded to YouTube? Yes, they are. So the, what I'm going to do with them is that I'm going to have the title of the stream when it's going live to be a little bit more ambiguous. But then once it's actually finished, I will have everything that was covered in that. So if it is just Outward, it'll just say, let's relax with Outward. Otherwise, it'll be, let's relax with Outward and Warband and Microsoft Excel. So, yeah. That's the plan for those. Um, have I ever thought about alternating Skyrim with Leon and a Brotherhood series, etc? Um, yes, yes and no. Um, I, I always get really nervous about touching regular Skyrim. If I was to do another series, it would probably be in Special Edition, just so that I'm not messing with Leon stuff, because Leon's save is, you know, nearly five years old now, so... Yeah, I, I try to be as careful with that as I can, but yeah, Enderol... I've been looking at Enderal, especially Enderal on Steam now, which is awesome that it has its own kind of like little branch. Um, definitely, definitely want to do some things with Enderal. I think there's a lot of a lot of possibilities for storytelling. Yeah. Um, what are my thoughts on my Kenshi experience? Is it everything I expected? Um, yeah, I mean it's everything and it's more. It's a really, it's a really, really enjoyable game to play. I find it's, um, you know, it's tough in the right places. But it's also consistent, um, you know, it's you consistently get better over time. It is just a time, it's like a, just putting time into it. The more you do something, the better you get, so, yeah. Darkwood. Yeah, I mean, I feel, I feel like games like that, especially uh, the ones that we're going to be able to cover as a Let's Relax really well. And I think that's going to be a way for me to bring RimWorld back onto the channel as well. That's something else that I can you know, have on, on Mondays for our kind of hangout and, our uh, hangout and play. Have I done a Fallout 4 series? Yes, I've done, I've done a few. I've done a few. We have Frost as an ongoing series. We have Ashes, which is the full-blown roleplay of it. There is a uh, prequel machinima to that series as well, which is on TGN. That can also be found on the homepage of the channel. There's a whole heap. There's a whole heap. Yeah, I've uh, I've been missing Rimworld as well, Aolin. Uh Yeah, been wanting to wanting to go back to it, but it's just a time thing. So I think having it be that kind of live stream format could be good good fun just for trying a number of different things. Liam, I did hear about that announcement. Uh, yeah, I am so ready for that game. I am so ready. Uh, I, I know there's a lot of memes about Ben Lord taking forever. But I think when we get it, it is going to be an incredibly good game. So, yeah. Have I ever wanted to RP a Star Wars game? Um, not specifically. Well, uh, actually, no, that's a lie. Um, KOTOR was totally one of those. Um, 
Knights of the Old Republic. Yeah. Jordan Manley, thank you very much for the super chat. Appreciate it. Um, you've been enjoying Cataclysm. You wanted to ask, have I considered playing Total War Warhammer? I haven't really played anything within the Warhammer sphere. Um, I've played Total Wars in the past, but I haven't done anything with Warhammer, per se. Yeah. And actually, speaking of Total War, um, I think starting next week, I'm going to be going back through uh, officially Devon's content, uh, his narrative Let's Plays in Total War. Because uh, it's been a while since I have watched some of them. And so I'm going to go back and watch some of the other ones that I've done before. If you're looking for good narrative Let's Plays, amazing, amazing series on there as well. So do check that out. Have I gotten to play the Elder Scrolls Blades yet? No, I haven't. No, but it does look like it's fun. Um, like graphically, it looks pretty intense. Oh dear. Okay. Janet's gonna wake up. Pringles, thank you very much. Janet, welcome to the party. Welcome to the party, Janet. I was highly tempted to post some cringy furry copy slash pasta, but nothing I found was under 200 characters. You have been spared, but have 10 bucks anyway. Thank you, Pringles. I appreciate that. I appreciate you, uh, <laughs> appreciate you sparing us a lot. It's very good. It's very good. Yeah. I'm surprised there's been no Leon Furry content. What's happening? Um, have I ever played Divinity, Divinity Original Sin 1 or 2? I've played a, 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 a I wouldn't say a large amount, but I played a, a decent amount with, um, with Triton before, co-op. But I haven't done anything on the channel. Um, who knows? That might be something that we look into doing on stream. Not decided yet. Yes, Pringles, you're consistent. <laughs> you're definitely consistent. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, Gothic, I haven't, I haven't played any Gothic. None. Fan out on the Discord, yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure. Frostpunk's a good option. Definitely. I actually have Frostpunk, so... Yeah. Not that relaxing. Well, that's the thing, is, like, let's relax. It usually isn't relaxing, but, you know... <laughs> the idea of it is that it's relaxing, so... Yeah. Well, yes, Sarah, so we are going to be doing Outward uh, actually starting tomorrow. So you'll be able to see that on the channel as part of the Let's Relax live streams that I'm going to be bringing. Yeah, we're going to be starting with Outward. Uh, which I've only played a tiny bit of so far. I just tested it last night. Blood Mime, thank you very much. What do you have for us, Janet? There may come a day where we don't have technical difficulties, but it is not this day. No, it is not, Janet. No, it is not. It's good to see that Janet made it to Solving Guard perfectly fine without any issues. Um... Yeah. Well done, Janet. Well done. Um, have I played Darkest Dungeon? Yes, I have. I actually did a little bit of, uh, of, of a stream on it here in the past. Again, perfect opportunity for us to dive into that as well. Um, the season of Leon is over, but he will be returning, so he's not quite done just yet. Not just done yet. Yeah, Janet. Janet also perished. See, being dragonborn, because I was born in the year of the dragon, uh, I'm able to traverse to Sovereign Guard, but Janet did have to die in the process. So, yeah. But it wasn't battle. It wasn't battle. The the previous hall that we're in, Dragon's Reach, it was raided. Um, you know, she did a great job. She held off against thousands of Stormcloak soldiers. She did what she had to. Yeah. I appreciate that, Charles. I appreciate that. Hey, we got through it. <laughs> um, we'll full up three air this weekend. Not this weekend, but it will be next weekend. And it's going to be a banger. Yeah. We're going to be dropping some stuff and things. Maybe Janet didn't respond all those times because she had died. Well, yeah, she was transitioning, definitely. 
Yeah. Jingle, I'm glad that you enjoy Frost. Um, we're actually getting to a point now. We're, we're getting close. We're getting close to the end of Frost. Um, I mean, I won't say the end because I feel like there is more to explore, but um, yeah. We might be taking it, or rather Akira might be going in a slightly different direction after this current arc that she's on. Yeah, Stormcloak Super Chats. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Just talking about sweet rolls, for the most part. You're gonna enjoy Bran. Bran's Bran's a lot of fun. Bran is one of those characters where it it kind of shows you the kind of progression that you can have in Cataclysm. You can start with a character that is intelligent, but is you know rather weak, and uh, and just look where he is now. <laughs> the guy. The guy is a monster. He is an absolute machine in more ways than one. Uh, do I think it's possible to do a Dark Souls roleplay with a coherent with a coherent narrative? Well, I'm not coherent. I'm not coherent, but I think it is possible. It is possible. And it's something that I've wanted to do for the longest time. Um, I've actually just started playing Dark Souls 1 again recently. Um, so, who knows? Janice. What do you have for us? Pringles, thank you again. Give us your best flirty face. We need a new emote for the Discord. Is that good enough? Is that good enough for you? Does that satisfy your needs? <laughs> oh dear. That is a very good question, someday guy. What is going on? I'd like to know as well. Yeah, are you not entertained? What can I say? What can I say? I do what I must for the Legion. I'm loyal. I'm loyal. Thank you, the Forsaken One. Thank you very much. Oh dear. Yeah, drinks me to forget. Definitely. Definitely. Need to blur this I used out. to be an adventurer like you. Then I took an arrow to the knee. You did. And then you joined me in Sovngarde, didn't you? Janet. It's good to have you here. It is. I mean, while there is many in this hall, it can be lonely. So, Janet, we appreciate you. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah, exactly. It's just memes. I won't complain. I will not complain. It's fine. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear me. Let's adjust this thing, get it back in. Ah. Uh, what can we do? Hey, we're actually getting close to the Lotum. Getting there. Slowly but surely. And everything's still going okay here. That's. I'm very, very surprised. I'm very surprised. I feel like you've all died though. What's happened? Are we all still here? Am I am, am I by am I here by myself? Okay, no, that's good. You're you're all here as well. Okay, <laughs> I thought I was all alone all of a sudden. Oh dear. <laughs> Just everyone decided to stop chatting at the exact same time. Oh dear. Do I see Ash doing all of the Fallout 4 DLCs? Uh, potentially. I mean, chances are maybe, maybe. Yeah, it was, it was you, Pringles. It was you. You reset it for everyone. There you go. <laughs> oh, I'm glad, Erlen. I'm glad. <laughs> yep. What can I say? What can I say? I try my best. Yeah. Uh, what mic do I use? I use an AT2020. It is a Audio Technica microphone. I've had it for for years now, um, and it's a real workhorse. Like it does, it does a really, really good job. I've also got a um, a Blue Yeti. Uh, I can't remember what model it is though. It's the slightly thicker looking thing. Um, it's good though. That that's also decent. But that is a USB microphone. I do prefer XLR where I can. Although in saying that, in saying that. Um, I did need to be careful to keep cell phones away from it 
uh, because it can interfere with the mixer. So sometimes there can be interference. So I always forget to move that away. Um, oh, good question from Mr. Gaming. Where does one buy the merch? Now there is only one right now. This magnificent piece featuring our man Leon. Uh, seeing as you ask, you can head to the Rikon Roleplays store. We only have one piece on there at this stage, but we are going to be adding Logan. I'm hoping to add him this month, and then we're going to be adding others. I'm going to go to the rest of you for the next lot. Um, so Logan is going to be the next, but then after that I'm going to leave it open to the Legion to decide what our next is going to be. And we're going to keep with the same kind of style of the semi-heavy metal shirt for, uh, for our man Logan and for the others. A mug would be most welcome. Well, you can actually get this design as a mug on a phone case and a number of other options there. Uh, I might potentially just do the um, the logo as well. Uh, I just wanted to do something a little different um, rather than just um, straight up logo. But um, yeah, we can we can look at that as well for sure. That's a, that's an easy one for me to get across the line, definitely. Is it possible for Logan to make it to the Commonwealth? I mean, it's possible. But at the same time, I feel like that's Ash's territory, so yeah, he's going to hold that down. Not to say that Logan hasn't been there at some point in his life, um, because there, there's, there's, some, there's some gaps. Even once we get to the end of Fallout 3, there is going to be some, uh, some stuff that happens between there and, and New Vegas, so it's possible. Yeah, I'm glad you like the style, Charles. It just felt right for Leon, and I feel like it'll match Logan pretty well as well. Yeah, I think it just like a consistent, a consistent style for a first lot would be good. And then we'll take it in different directions. Asher, you want to see me cooking recipes from the Skyrim cookbook? I feel like it would be an absolute disaster, but that would be part of the fun, right? I'm sure we could, I'm sure I could try that. <laughs> hey, I've got a Skyrim apron. I got an apron a while back, a Skyrim apron, so it's possible. Um, did I decide not to do two episodes of Kenshi Week? No, we're actually doing two episodes at the moment. Um, we have an episode that comes out on... It's actually going to come out tomorrow afternoon, 3 o'clock tomorrow, Eastern Standard Time. So, yes. We've got it then, and we have the regular slot on Thursdays. Thursdays. I always have to try and figure out the times. Um, but the next episode of Kenshi is it's following on the same kind of run that we've been on at the moment but uh the one after that there's a decent time skip in between then just because we've really established the production the order in which we're doing things and sometimes that can get a bit repetitive so i have played for at least a good three or four hours off of recording uh to move forward it is lotum time are we all ready? Are we all prepared? The Lotum is the Legionnaire of the Month. It is a member of our Legion here on the channel that has gone above and beyond, has shown themselves to be worthy of that position as the Legionnaire of the Month, excelling and standing out from all others. Last week we had, uh, last week, not last week, last month we had Vormifrax, Vormifrax who makes some incredible Cataclysm uh, content on YouTube and has also assisted me in the background with a numerous amounts of uh, uh, Cataclysm related issues. So Vormifrax, we are going to lower your banner. And our Lotum for this month might be not known to many, but is someone who jumped out and stood out to me and is actually in the chat right now. 
So I'm very happy to see your name pop up here, but I would like to give congratulations and a badass drum roll too. I just realized that Triton's also sleeping downstairs, so Triton, I apologize for drum rolling. <laughs> Although he's probably awake by now already. <laughs> Our Legionnaire of the Month, congratulations, goes to Blair Delancey. Blair, the reason you were chosen as the Legionnaire of the Month is your fantastic storytelling that you did in the latest uh, episode of Cataclysm, of Brand's Tale. So congratulations, and it's fantastic to see you here in the chat as well. Very, very happy to see that. It's not always that the Lotons are here during the town hall, so congratulations, Blair. Congratulations. Well deserved. Well deserved. And if you haven't seen uh, some of the writing that Blair has done in Cataclysm, head to the latest episode of Brand's Tale. It's fantastic. It's really, really good. Um, yeah, it just captured it captured a moment between two characters so perfectly. And, you know, it was just really, really good writing. Loved it. It's fantastic. So, very well done. Cheer to you. No, I'm not kidding. No, for real. For real. Congratulations. Very well deserved. It jumped out at me as soon as I saw it. I was like, that is... It got me. It hit me right in the feels. There you go. So congratulations. Your logo, your image shall be held high. <laughs> the chair, the throne, the Lotum throne, the one behind here. Actually, let me duck down real fast. There is a throne back there. Leon is sitting on that throne right now. He's he's watching over us right now. Yeah. I'm trying to do a good job, Leon. I'm trying to do my best. What can I say? Is that coffee in my horn? No, it's not coffee. It's not coffee. <laughs> but I... <laughs> I won't say what it is. <laughs> yes, congratulations. Congratulations. You are our Lotum now. Uh, and I want to encourage that as well. I want to encourage that kind of engagement, uh, especially for a series like Cataclysm, where, you know, it is all narrative. The story is what we make it, and um, especially stuff like that happening between characters. Just really, really cool. <laughs> I will tell you all what it is at the end of stream, and you don't judge me. That's our agreement. It's the morning. It's the morning, and I was thirsty. But yeah, it's not alcoholic. No, it's 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 nine thirty in the morning here, so <laughs> I feel like it's a little early for me to start. A little early. Yeah. Uh, will I roleplay Outlast three when it is released? Definitely, definitely. Um, the Outlast games are fantastic. I really enjoy them. I want to do more horror roleplays just because I find them to be just really engaging and. They can bring out some really interesting performances as well, because the characters are terrified, I'm terrified, it's good. Everyone's terrified. It's a good time. It's nothing milky. It's nothing milky. It, it's really, the rest of this is going to be just guessing what's in, in Rikon's horn. <laughs> oh dear. Uh... Did I see what some dead guy said about an update to CDDA about removing bionics? Like, removing them from the game entirely? Or just like, as in like, removing them? As in like, you can remove certain bionics in a different way? Oh dear. Bastion? That's cool. I should be, I should be. I need to get some more mead. I don't have any currently. I do have some moonshine, though, that a friend of mine has made. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm going to go for that either. Not right now. They're trying to fix it. Oh, right, they're removed from your character. Okay. Hmm. I'm not going to update then. I'll just uh, hold off for a while. Yeah. <laughs> Asher, I don't blame you. Outlast is like that. It's good like that. Uh, any games you're interested in playing in the future? I mean, like, 
Bannerlord, 100%. As soon as that thing comes out, I'm just gonna... I'm super, super happy for that. Yeah. Just can't wait. Can't wait. Uh, Forsaken One. Will I play in New Genesis with the others? So New Genesis is a uh, era within the world of Zealand that takes place 150 years after the fall of humanity. Um, yes, 100%. New Genesis is probably my favorite era. Um, and it's the one that I could do the most kind of fleshing out of. Because with, you know, Terra Mortis and, and even um, the fall, they're still so close to our time that there is so much influence that can happen from the players to change it. But because New Genesis is so much further away, it's 150 years away, any kind of influence we could have had as the people we are now is, is so far removed. So I could really expand things out a lot further and make it funky as hell and just try and make it feel like its own unique setting um and i think that's where zealand really does come into its own once you get into that kind of 150 years later um i do find that kind of like that that style or it's not almost style it's like the kind of setting that it's in as well i find that really exciting especially for role playing um, just because, yeah, there's some really, some really cool things that can happen from that. Um, Eolin, yes, you're right. Shirley is going to be in game. I am very, very excited to see that. So, next Elder Scrolls. That was, that, that, that whole little video feature was so much fun to watch. Um, and it was really cool to see a little bit behind the scenes, especially of their character creation process. And Shirley was looking great in game, so I think there's going to be a lot of, a lot of improvements ahead of us. Uh, any updates on D and D on the channel? Well, I can say that the test game that we're running is going very, very well. Um, we're not likely to start uh, within the next few months, but maybe a month or two after that. Uh, but everything's come together really well um i do have a setup that we've kind of tested on how we're going to try and shoot it it's all just to the side of me at the moment that's why i'm looking over here um and it's also some of the changes that i've been making to zealand as well it's the same kind of uh filming format so trying to capture six people on camera including uh you know a gm as well is difficult um but i think i've found a format in which it's possible to do it and and where it's relatively consistent Although it's not always, problems do arise. Uh, there is a little problem within this chapter of Zealand, but I'm smoothing through it. Um, any battle map tools used for D&D? &D? Yeah, so we're using Dungeon Fog and we're also using dynamic maps. Yeah, so it's like really nice 3D maps. Uh, how will battles work with the cap? Yeah, so we will have an overhead, but we're still trying to find out how we're going to get that to work properly. So for Zealand, in the coming episode that's coming out this week, I did have a camera that was up the top, which is actually good that I did because part of the recording, the video recording, dropped. Uh, so I have that to cover it, but it's, a, it's not a great angle and there is a lot of glare because I use Perspex over the television to protect it. Uh, so there are issues there with light and reflection and being able to see things properly. So trying to get that worked out, it's gonna take a little bit, but it's gonna look good. It's gonna look good. It's gonna be all set and ready to go. Trying to get audio to work well is a challenge, uh, purely just because I'm controlling all of it like so I'm doing all the input and stuff like that it's difficult to do that and focus on the game at some time at the same time so there's sometimes some issues that can arise from that but we do what we can uh, have I heard that the developers of Kenshi are creating Kenshi 2 I have heard just a tiny few things about that uh, but also that they're looking at transferring some of the features over from Kenshi 2 into Kenshi 1 features and changes which is interesting um so yeah we'll see what happens there I mean the thing is what's good now is that they've got the engine developed so they don't need to make an entirely new engine 
to create a new game to create a sequel they can use the same game engine they can just expand or or almost have it like a separate campaign it's possible um i haven't really touched eso too much um i don't know why i haven't i think it's just because it could potentially become quite a big time sink for me um yeah so i not that i wouldn't want to i 100 percent would want to uh i think i'd just find it too easy to play a whole heap of that and not cover as much stuff here on the channel <laughs> Um, what are my future horror role-playing plans? I don't have any at this stage, but I definitely want to get another in there this year, for sure. And end roll is something that we are 100% going to be experiencing. Uh, whether or not that will be after Leon's Tale has been told, I'm not sure just yet. Sometimes it's just what I'm feeling like on any given month. <laughs> yeah. Because sometimes, sometimes I have time to fit stuff in, other times I don't. It fluctuates a lot. Uh, I do this channel as much as I can. Um, I'm, I'm pretty much full-time on this, but I do still do a fair amount of work outside of the channel as well. So that's why uploads and schedules and stuff like that will fluctuate from week to week. But, um, yeah. I'm really looking forward to End Rule. I really am. And of course, yes, Bloodlines. Um, now, I probably won't do a roleplay of Masquerade, the first one. Um, I I'd started one, and then I had to stop it because of just... At th there were so many bugs, so many errors. I do want to revisit that, and that might be something that we can do as part of the stream. So, yeah. Yes. Um, Kifa, my original job, and my job that I still do from time to time, is a uh, freelance camera operator so i do i do camera work um i also do editing as well so this this is this is why i enjoy doing youtube because i can do all of those things in one i can do acting i can do editing and i can do camera work like all in one all in one go well i hope that recovery is going okay Erlen. i'm glad you've been able to enjoy ender all Yeah, I, I in saying that though, Hadarak, I did play through Bloodlines at the end of last year. I played the entire way through it, and I got through it okay without too many problems. So as long as I don't mod it, I think it's okay. Well, actually, as long as I only mod it with the unofficial patches, I'm okay. How close is Leon to reaching the end of his journey? There are two major arcs left in, in, in Leon's tale. The one that he's going into in this uh, season, which is a civil dispute of a kind, but not what you might think it is. There are going to be some... This is the thing. It's like I've, I've had this later stage of Leon's tale planned out for a long time but I've always been super nervous about getting to it because it's going to require a lot of modification on my behalf and it might be too ambitious to do some of the things that I want to do but we'll see we'll see I've gotten good at forcing that game to do things it's not meant to so yeah <laughs> we're going to explore some different outcomes so, without saying where it's going to go, I think that the next season of Leon's Tale will go in some interesting places. And then the final, the final arc that I have planned for him uh, is, is dependent on a few other things that are currently being worked on that I won't say too much about. Do I like Dragon Age? I do like Dragon Age. I was actually just speaking with a group of people about Dragon Age last night. A whole heap. I recently played through Origins, again at the end of last year, around Christmas. I, I kind of smashed through uh, Masquerade and, and Origins at the same time.
Yeah, see, a vampire roleplay, we could we could go back into a Seeking Sovereign Guard-esque format. Uh, I, I mean, I do want to do some more things with Seeking Sovereign Guard, but uh, it will be more if, if we can have some really interesting character ideas. And I think a, I think a, doing it like a vampire character could be could be quite fun. I apologize if I seem tired today because I am really, really tired. For some reason, I just couldn't sleep last night. I guess I was excited to see you all today, but I was waking up like every every hour. I was up, just couldn't sleep at all. I think I got at least two and a half. So that's something. <laughs> Thankfully, I don't have to do too much today. I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna do some shopping, and then I've got D&D in the afternoon, so that's all right. Just need to try not to get my character killed. Vormithrax, good to see you. Yes, unfortunately you did get dethroned, but you've been uh, dethroned by a very good... <laughs> it was a lumpy throne? It is, it is, it is a lumpy throne. It was made out of Pringles cans at one point, so... Yeah. They got melted down. Lawful evil. I think lawful evil is kind of really the only way that you can do a good vampire other than just doing chaotic and chaotic just gets out of control very very quickly You're binging Game of Thrones good luck with that. It's a lot to get through Soft thrones make bad leaders. There we go Okay Yeah, you took that one didn't you? We got the original back for now. What's my character in D&D? I have two... I have two... No, I have three characters at the moment. Um, so in the test game that we're doing for the... Uh, the D&D campaign that we're going to be running. So it's not the same character that I'm going to be playing eventually. But the one that I'm playing at the moment is a um, Lightfoot Halfling. That essentially has uh, manipulated luck to an extent where it's really all starting to come back on him. Um, he's kind of like your sleazy car salesman. Kind of a personality um he is a wild sorcerer wild magic sorcerer so and i have the lucky feet i'm all about manipulating luck as much as possible but it does backfire in a lot of ways um so it really does influence that wild magic surge a lot more often and some very bad things can happen around him just from manipulating the weave too much that it starts to backfire on him uh another character that i have is um in Triton's campaign that I'm playing at the moment is a Goliath uh, Tempest cleric and essentially is Lady Thor. Uh, it's a modern D&D setting so it's set in our time, the old world coming back into the new. Uh, but it's a lot of fun to play because essentially I'm playing a superhero. It's a lot of fun. What edition do I play? Uh, fifth edition, yes. Yes, I am playing fifth at the moment. My first edition that I started playing was fourth um, a number of years ago now. But, um, yeah. I was late. I was late to D&D. But, you know. I, it, it's still, it's it's funny though. When I go back to, to reading through, actually just, just like two nights ago, I was looking back through the old red box for fourth edition. And so much has changed. So much has changed since then. Yeah. Yes, there is definitely going to be D&D up in here. And I will be, a, I'll be a character. I'll be a player. I won't be running the show. I'll be handing the reins off. Well, Pringles, maybe you'll be able to find some on the Discord. If you haven't joined the Discord yet, I highly recommend you do. We have a number of really interesting text role plays that happen on there. There is a vibrant fan art community on there. And there's some really weird shit as well. <laughs> No, it's a lot of fun. I highly recommend that you check it out. It is the beating heart of the community and there's some really amazing people on there. So I do I do recommend you check it out if you haven't yet. Um, it can be a good way to find different groups online for playing Zealand, D&D, whatever you're trying to play. It's a good place to meet people who are interested in role playing because this is what we do here on this channel. How does the text role play work? Well, if you head there, you might be able to find out kind of just like normal role playing but with 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 text well hello there oh, oh. <laughs> 
Well, we are going to be wrapping things up in just a moment. So if you have any final questions, please do fire them away. Yeah, it was General Kenobi. Yes. Yeah, there is some really weird stuff. Oblivion RP eventually. 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 What is in the horn? We'll get there. <laughs> we'll get there, okay? I feel like maybe I should just keep that to the patron chat that's happening afterwards. Yeah, maybe I'll keep it secret. Maybe I'll keep it secret. And you'll have to hunt them down to find out exactly what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Would I recommend living in New Zealand? 100%. New Zealand's an amazing country. Um, you have every different kind of landscape within an hour of each other. You can go from, you know, beautiful surf beaches to snowy mountains in just an hour or two. It's got it all. It's got it all. Hey, it's got me as well. It's pretty good, right? It's not bad. Uh, what are my plans for Sand and his company? Stay alive. Stay alive as long as we possibly can. Get real strong and then stick it to the holy nation. That's a long-term plan. Hot dog water. Yes, I can confirm it is actually just hot dog water uh, inside the drinking horn. You guessed right, blood mine. Well done. Well done. Uh, Asher. Yes, we are getting the entire Briarwood arc. That's incredible. The Critical Role Kickstarter has just been nuts. Absolutely nuts. But I also do need to remember that I backed it and not forget so it doesn't uh, fail. Scooter. Of course I am. Of course I am. I have been for years. I have been for years. The Holy Nation will feel the pain. They will. Definitely. <laughs> uh, would I do a second RP in Skyrim with a less honorable character? Yeah, if I were to, I that would be the way to go. Go for a slightly different direction than Leon's. Yes, Loot Angel, we were totally meant to have that. Yeah, stuff can get away sometimes. You pick up other projects and, yeah. Baldur's Gate, well there you go. Another perfect entry to the Let's Relax series. One of many different things that we're going to be able to cover on it. And so with that, I am going to have the times going live later on today uh, for exactly when that's going to be happening. It's going to run for about four to five hours. I don't have a set time on it just yet, but I'm going to look for around about that uh, kind of amount. Do I plan on role-playing mods like Beyond Skyrim or Skywind? Possibly. For Beyond Skyrim, yeah, I'd say, but Skywind, I'm not so sure. Um, I'd probably rather go back to just role-playing Morrowind. David, thank you very much for the super chat. We have one final entry Watching from Watching Beyond S2, loving it. I know I'm late. Also playing Morrowind ATM. But make me think, have you ever thought of doing a role-play across games? Starting and 3, then Oblivion all the way to 6? That would be the way to do it. That'd be a really interesting way to do it, and it'd be an ambitious way to do it, but I'd say possibly. I'd say possibly. It would be really, it'd be a really interesting way to do that. I, I've always liked the idea of doing a immortal-esque character, maybe a character that can die, but in the sense doesn't age the same way. Yeah, we could do reincarnations. It's possible. It's totally possible. That would be neat. That would be a really neat way to do it. Yeah. Vampire could work. Could work. Could be a little limiting, but it's possible. It's entirely possible. <laughs> I'm glad, E-Power. I'm glad you're still able to enjoy them. Maybe they are, Hudman. Maybe they are. They're all reincarnations of me in different worlds. There is a bit of me in every one of them. That's for sure. Uh, we're going to keep that horn a secret. 
We're gonna keep that a secret. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You're gonna have to hunt people down. You're gonna have to hunt people down to find out what it is. It's the new mystery. There's gonna be an ARG surrounding this. There you go. Uh, I do want to thank you all for joining me for another town hall. We had technical issues. It wouldn't be a town hall without them. Moving into Sovngarde, surely there was gonna be something wrong with the cables. What do you know? It happened. I'd like to thank everyone for joining me today and I'd like to also extend a big thank you to all the patrons who continue to make this channel possible so that I can create material on here so that I can tell, tell stories and and uh, yeah hang out with you weird and wonderful people but that's us all isn't it yes bad reception as Sovngarde very bad yes yeah it cuts off your microphone all the time it's just how it happens ah oh dear yeah Roxas, fellow New Zealander, it's always good to see Kiwis here. Because New Zealand is like 0.4% of the viewership on this channel. <laughs> so, I always love seeing a fellow New Zealander. It's good to have you here. Okay, well, that is us. We're going to be wrapping up today's town hall. Patrons, I will be seeing you afterwards. We'll discuss in great detail the mysteries of the drinking horn. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. I've been Rykon. You have all been awesome, and until next time, stay tuned.